flag, like what it's like, how the war started. It's kind of evolved into like a racial thing when really it was not started as a racial thing at all. And I think that like it should absolutely be flown like, okay. like publicly. Any other opinions as far as in agreeing with him or disagreeing with him? Okay, Mr. Justice. You do have a right to fly it. I do not think it should be flown on public property, like in front of a state house. You can also fly it at protests. But he mentioned misconceptions. There are no misconceptions about that flag. The flag that we see today is not actually the Confederate flag. The Confederate flag is similar to that of the United States. It has a blue upper right hand corner with seven stars in a circle, two red stripes, and in the middle a white stripe. The flag we see today is an interpretation of a Confederate battle flag. And the interpretation went up in the 1960s around the time the Civil Rights Movement started. And to the point where it's not racially motivated then how come it's a symbol for so many groups like the KKK and the National Socialist Movement, who, as you all probably know, have white supremacist and neo-Nazi ideologies? Also, I find it ironic that people claim to be patriots when they fly that flag. The Confederates stabbed the Union in the back. They shot first, they murdered 500,000 American soldiers, and they argued that it was because of states' rights. I ask, states' rights to do what? What were we considering getting rid of at the time? Not guns, we weren't trying to raise taxes, it was slavery. We were trying to stop the expansion of slavery to the West. The Southern aristocracy panicked and left the Union. They said, we are not Americans, we are from the South, so we're starting our own country. And then they proceeded to launch numerous terrorist attacks against the Union, shooting at Fort Sumter murdering 200 people in Lawrence, Kansas. Okay, now Chris, 